Hello and welcome back to Productive Dragons channel. My name is April and today I have a slightly different video. I was approached by a company to review their pens. So I agreed with Parku, who was nice enough to send me these pens. These are the clickable, clicker erasable gel pens. This is a set of their 14. I will give you the information and then I'll give you my bias right at the towards the end of the information so these write remove rewrite without damaging documents parkour's friction erasable pens let you enjoy smooth writing while leave room for error new thermo sensitive ink that disappears with friction using the rubber tail tip on the pen with no residue or tearing of paper these pens write like gel pens and erase like pencils smooth writing gel ink tip 0.7 millimeter, 14 assorted colors, non-toxic ink, acid-free, non-bleeding, eraser is at the top of the tip of the pen, a retractable by pressing clip down. Use this erasable pen to complete Sudoku and crossword puzzles without a mistake or a hole in the paper. Keep your paper or books neat and clean. Students can use these pens for note-taking and homework not recommended for use on legal or official documents. <laughs> All right, for those people who actually know me, they know I'm a lover of pens. I am a sucker for pens, except one type, the erasable. I have a bias, I admit it. But I'm willing to look at these pens. And if you don't have a bias, then you're gonna really love this review, but I do. So let me show you. Let's pull out one pen real quick. We'll, we'll use the black. That's one of my favorite colors. It's very nice. Nice feel. Here's the erasable tip. The retractable is your right here. It does come with a tip cover for all. That's good. As you see, I just opened these pens. And then, like it said, it's 14 colors. So let's start off with the first color which is right off the back, nice. All right, next color. I can put this back in. This color happens to be Cocoa Delight. This one is, oops. I gotta give them credit for color names. Luscious Green. This is Limelight, okay. And they come out writing really well. Not a problem there. The ink is brightly flowing. This is a slate blue. Spin. Hmm. We have a few blues here. The next one is a pure blue joy. They do write nicely. I will give them that. They do write nicely. Next, we have Bright Blue Bliss. Oops, I didn't take off the cover all completely. Sorry, that's my fault. Next, we have an Armoreth Purple, which I probably mispronounced that, and I do apologize. But as some of you do know, my pronunciation sucks. 
I am writing on uh, Happy Notes paper. For those of you who are curious about this, that's what that is. Uh, this is a charming purple. I love that they have two purples. Most, most of them don't come with that many purples, but I like the fact that it came with a couple purples. That's nice. Next we have Deep Brick Red. Okay. Wild Berry. Red Rush. Make sure I get these things off. We have an orange. Hmm. Orange Rise is the name of this one. Let me sure I did. Sometimes you do need a little work on, but mostly this has really been going very well. And last but not least, Yellow Twirl. Oh, no, that's going to be hard to see. For anybody who does not read yellow, this is yellow. It's just it's really hard to read because it is what it says. It's yellow. So here we go. Like I said, this is going to be interesting colors. And there is yellow there. It's very hard to say because it's a very <laughs> yellow ink. All right. The colors look great. I have no qualms with that. So if you're looking for these and you love these, great. Here's where my issue comes in. I'm going to use the... Let's go with charming purple. All right, here comes my issue. All right, let's say, okay, we know I just misspelled hello. So the eraser comes in, just like they said, it's just like, not that much pressure, it doesn't tear a hole, and I redid it again that way. I don't know why. And still, not a problem. They weren't joking when they say it does erase and it does work. It still looks good. There we go. And it doesn't matter which pen you pick, it will erase. And it's not kidding, it does erase very well. No problems. Here's where my issue comes in. This is where I have... I'm gonna do the hair dryer test. Yes, I have a regular hair dryer, it has Three settings. It's got a cool, a warm, and a hot. So I'm going to start it off with a cool. And okay, nothing happened, just like I expected. Now we're going to go to a warm setting. So far, so good. Where the problem comes in. It's coming back, but if you live in a hot area, your ink is going to disappear. That's my only bias towards these pens. I remember the erasable pens back in, oh my god, the 80s, where it was basically the ink. You're not using friction. So, as you see, it did disappear at the hot settings. And this is a hair dryer. 
imagine places that are even worse. I didn't use a heat gun because it would have been automatic. But it being a heat, <laughs> disappears with heat. That's why they tell you do not use this on a legal or official documents. Because the ink would disappear. That's my only concern with this. But if you love this and you have no issue with that, and see, I'm a collector of my stuff, so I don't want my ink disappearing. But if you love it, I'm going to leave the links down below. Right now, as of September 27th, Amazon has got it on there for $12.99 for this set of 14 pens. And to be honest, I think it's worth it. You know, if you do not mind, you like erasable inks, and you also love, you know, like I said, my only issue with it is it disappears in, with heat. And I have, you know, I live in a place that can be hot at times, and I don't want, as you've seen, a lot of my things are gone. So that's the only reason why I wouldn't, you know, I wouldn't gravitate to these. But if you don't mind these, go for it. I would recommend it for the people who really like this, but if you're like me and you don't like ink disappearing, uh-uh. But if you love these and you love and you have no problem with this, go for it. I think it's worth it. The price and everything is worth it. But myself, I got to pass. If you made it this far, please rate this video whether you liked it or you didn't. For those of you who have subscribed to my channel, thank you for subscribing. I appreciate all my subscribers. For those of you who haven't, please consider subscribing. I do a video every Saturday. It's Plan With Me in my Erin Condren, which is my social media. And I also do a live Plan With Me on Twitch at 2 p.m. Eastern in my bullet journal, which is my personal life. But I do unboxings and <laughs> now other things. So if you see my icon right over there, click it. Then click the notification bell. Make sure it's set to all. That way, when I upload new content, hopefully YouTube is notifying you. I'm hoping everybody's having a great day. Bye.